Hello, I'm Jack Krabarzar and welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our first story comes from the world of geology. Scientists from British Antarctic Survey have discovered 12 new volcanoes in the Antarctic Ocean, seven of which are active and visible as an island chain. They also found five kilometer diameter craters left by collapsing volcanoes. They plan to do further research to learn more about volcanoes erupting and collapsing underwater and their potential for causing tsunamis, as well as gain insight into the formation of Earth as we know it. Our next story is from the world of medicine. Researchers at UC Irvine have found that neural stem cells can help people who lose learning abilities and memory after radiation treatment for brain tumors. They transplanted stem cells into rats two days after cranial irradiation. Over time, cognitive function was restored to the altered rats, whereas the control rats remained impaired. When people with brain tumors undergo radiation therapy, it almost always causes progressive and debilitating cognitive decline. This new method could completely reverse that, and clinical trials could take place within a few years. And from the world of biology, researchers at Northwestern University have discovered how plutonium gets into cells. There is a protein called transferrin that is made of two subunits, known as N and C, that normally bind to iron. When the transferrin receptor recognizes the subunits, it lets the molecule in. But when both the subunits contain plutonium, the receptor doesn't. However, when one subunit has iron and the other has plutonium, it resembles the normal iron protein enough to enter. This discovery may help improve the safety of workers and also help find new ways to separate radioactive elements from other metals. Our final story comes from the world of medicine. Researchers from the universities of Bonn and Mainz have discovered a mechanism that protects the brain from aging. They switched off the cannabinoid 1 receptor of mice and tested them to see if they could find a submerged platform in the pool. Once the mice knew its location, the platform was moved and they had to find it again. The mice without the CB1 receptor did not do as well as the control mice when finding the platform. The altered mice also suffered nerve loss in the hippocampus and inflammation. More research is needed on the role the endocannabinoid system plays in protecting the brain from age, but they hope further study will lead to new therapies for dementia. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Brainstorm. If you liked it, please subscribe and don't forget to read more about these stories in the links below.